Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where I'm going to be talking about a project that I've mentioned once or twice that I'll be doing in 2023. Actually, it's kind of starting next month, really. And that will be my Edgar Rice Burroughs deep dive, my deep dive into the works of Edgar Rice Burroughs, the author who created Tarzan and John Carter of Mars, and so many other great science fiction and adventure novels. Edgar Rice Burroughs at one time was tremendously popular. And a lot of Edgar Rice Burroughs books were printed. His popularity waned in the 1980s and the 1990s. Until no longer can you go into a bookstore and just get every book that this guy wrote. There was a time when you could pretty much do that. You can go into any bookstore and buy every Tarzan novel or every Mars novel or every novel, practically. But those days are long past. And I have every Edgar Rice Burroughs novel. I have a copy of every Edgar Rice Burroughs novel. And when I was younger, I was a huge... I became a huge fan of Edgar Rice Burroughs. I started reading Edgar Rice Burroughs probably when I was around 13 years old with the Mars series of books. And then I moved on to Tarzan and I just became a huge fan of Edgar Rice Burroughs. And I read through my teenage years, I read every single Edgar Rice Burroughs book. And I always intended to go back and do that once again. And never have. I've read a few individual Edgar Rice Burroughs books, uh, some of them uh, several times, but I've never gone back and read everything like I did when I was a young person. And I always intended to go back and do that. Well, now that I'm old, I decided, you know what, I need to do this. And so I'm going to do this. I'm going to read every Edgar Rice Burroughs book, one after the other. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting on hold every other thing I was thinking about reading and every other thing I was thinking about doing. And read every Edgar Rice Burroughs book. Now, most of them are pretty thin. So he didn't write a lot of big books. In fact, he didn't write anything that was really big. And so it should be a doable thing to do for, in, for the first part of next year. I want to get it done by May so I can take part in Horror Mayhem next year. But we'll see. We'll see if I can get it done by then. It's a challenge because Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote a lot of books. He wrote a lot of books. In fact, I should have found out how many he wrote before I started this video. I think it's like 80 or something, but he wrote a lot. And I have all of them, multiple copies of a lot of them. And so I, I pulled out a couple of boxes that I have most of Edgar Rice Burroughs' books in. And I went, I just poked around in them a little bit and filmed it. And so I'll show you that now so you can see what I'm working with. Okay, let's take a look at what I'm working with. I've got a couple big tubs of Edgar Rice Burroughs books here. This isn't all the Edgar Rice Burroughs that I own, but it's a lot of it. And I think everything I need for the most part is in here or around here. Uh, so over to the right, we have Tarzan. This tub to the right is just all Tarzan, including um, newer editions of Tarzan. This is from Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated. For years, Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated did nothing with all of the Edgar Rice Burroughs books. But finally, they are republishing uh, all the original Edgar Rice Burroughs books. And so that's really cool. They, they've got Joe Jusco to do uh, all the covers. He is a big fan of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Uh, they do have some of the faults that print-on-demand books have because they are print-on-demand hardcovers. And so you can see, like, on this one, the dust jacket is not folded correctly. And they are all a little ill-fitting, the dust jackets on these. But overall, they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice additions. 
Uh, and this box here has uh, in here every Edgar Rice Burroughs book many, many times over. I mean, I, I've got multiple copies of every Edgar Rice Burroughs book, and that includes every Tarzan book, because I just, you know, for years, I just buy them, you know, as I see them. And so I have, yeah, every Tarzan book. So this is all Tarzan to the right here. And over here, well, there's more Tarzan. There's Tarzan and the Jewels of Opar, Tarzan and the Golden Lion. Uh, but there's some other stuff in here. Oh, I should pull this out because this is um, Master of Adventure by Richard A. Lupoff. This is about Edgar Rice Burroughs' work. And so I'm going to be reading this next month along with the uh, biography of Edgar Rice Burroughs. And so uh, more Tarzan. He, Tarzan's everywhere. But we got some other stuff in here. Uh, what do we got? We got the Mars books. We've got a couple editions of Princess. This is my favorite cover of Princess of Mars right there. Ooh, Outlaw of Torn. I need to pull that because this is Edgar Rice Burroughs' second book. So I'll pull that. I'll pull cop. No copy of Princess of Mars. This is a guide to Barsoom. This is about Edgar Rice Burroughs' Mars series. Ooh, this is a good one. This is uh, I Am a Barbarian, which is an historical novel that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote, which has only been printed a couple times, actually. There was a hardcover, which was limited edition hardcover, I think, and this paperback edition. And I don't know that it's been printed since. I mean, hopefully this is one that Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated will reprint. If they do, I'll definitely buy a copy. This is a great uh, Boris cover. I think Boris did this cover, I think. Could be wrong. But uh, great cover, nevertheless. And we've got the Mars series. I think all the Mars books are here. Ooh, The Girl from Hollywood. Okay. So everything is a little mixed up in here. I've got to go through them. But... Uh, yeah, most of the Mars books, I think, mostly Mars books here. I have multiple copies of all the Mars books, of course, because I'm an obsessive weirdo and, you know, I just buy multiple copies. Here's The Mad King. Uh, this is uh, the only book about The Mad King. There's two novelettes in here that make up the story of The Mad King. We've got The Mucker. This is considered one of Edgar Rice Burroughs' uh, better books. And from what I remember, I, I agree. I remember this being really good. We've got the efficiency expert, which I remember nothing about. So probably not as good, but we'll see when I read them once again. And then we have more Mars, <laughs> more Mars, more Mars. So a lot of Mars over there. I've got a lot of these uh, omnibus editions. Like this one has uh, The Land That Time Forgot and The Moon Maid, uh, which were two books that had uh, multiple novelettes in them, which made up the stories. And then we've got more Mars. Uh, the first three Pellucidor books, which are, Pellucidor was the inner world, the world inside the earth. And so this, these are the thir first three Pellucidor books. And we've got some other random books, The Lad and the Lion. I remember that being okay. Here's an earlier edition of The Master of Adventure by Lupoff which shares the same cover with the Beasts of Tarzan that Ace put out. Um, and another Tarzan book. Just more random Tarzan just floating around in here. Okay. Um, then we've got the Eternal Savage. See, this is what I meant. Here's that same cover for the Beasts of Tarzan. And what are you doing in here, Robert E. Howard's Almiric? Hiding out in my Edgar Rice Burroughs book, my Edgar Rice Burroughs box. That makes sense because this was Robert E. Howard's most Edgar Rice Burroughs book. Uh, Al Merrick was basically his, Ed, uh, Robert E. Howard's version of Edgar Rice Burroughs' Mars series. So that's interesting. And then we've got some Venus, Venus books in here. Yeah, there's Carson of Venus. That's a really cool British edition of Carson. Uh, the Wizard of Venus, which is one of the rarer uh, books rarer paperbacks has the venus the wizard of venus the last venus story as well as a random novelette pirate blood and uh carson of venus again and there's the moon men which is half of the moon made series and there's the other half right yeah that's a great uh crinkle cover that's a great uh cover by crinkle i really like that that's really nice 
and The Cave Girl with a terrible cover. Uh, this is The Cave Girl, <laughs> the terrible cover of The Cave Girl, uh, which was a less popular series. Imagine that. Um, uh, a couple novelettes. The Cave Girl never lasted past that. It's uh, There are more books hiding in here, but I think you get the idea. I have a lot of Edgar Rice Burroughs books uh, to read. So there you go. That's... I didn't pull out everything. Like I didn't see the Apache novels there. He he wrote a he wrote some westerns and he wrote a couple uh, novels in the Apache series, which I have, but I didn't I didn't see them there. I'll have to double check. I think they're probably in the Tarzan box. But anyway, you see what I mean. I've got a lot of Edgar Rice Burroughs, and that was a lot of it. That wasn't all of it, but that was a lot of it. And so what I'm going to do is starting next month. I'm going to be reading a couple of books in preparation. I'm going to be reading this book, which I pulled out of the box there. This is Edgar Rice Burroughs' Master of Adventure by Richard A. Lupoff. This is a great book about the works of Edgar Rice Burroughs. It talks about Edgar Rice Burroughs, the writer, but it, all, but it mostly concentrates on the novels, on the work of Edgar Rice Burroughs. I remember this being really, really good. So I'm going to read this. But before I read that, I'm going to read this big one. This is Edgar Rice Burroughs, The Man Who Created Tarzan by Erwin Porges. And this is the biography of Edgar Rice Burroughs. And it is the ultimate book about Edgar Rice Burroughs. Apparently, this book has never been bettered. And it is great. I read this because there was a copy of it in the San Leandro Library. So when I was reading all of that Edgar Rice Burroughs stuff when I was a teenager, I found a copy of this and I read it and loved it and found it fascinating. And now I have my own copy of it. And it's going to be very helpful because my plan is to read every Edgar Rice Burroughs book more or less in the order of composition. Now, where this gets tricky and why I can't really do that completely is that, particularly in the later part of his career, all of his books were published, for the most part, in pulp magazines. And at a certain point, he was selling mostly novelettes to pulp magazines. And what he would do is he would take like four of these novelettes, which would be loosely connected, and he'd put them together as a book and release them as one book. And he did that with the uh, later books in the Mars series, and he did that with uh, a lot of the Tarzan series. Uh, most of his series he did this with. And so those book, those novelettes were kind of coming out here and there alongside each other. But the book, book publications came later, where they would put all that stuff in one book. I'm not going to try to read every novelette in the order that the novelettes came out. Uh, it seems to me that would be needlessly complicated, but... Mostly I'm going to do it as close as I can to the order in which they were written. And that is where this is going to be very helpful because this book has an appendix which has a list of Edgar Rice Burroughs' complete works. A working list of Edgar Rice Burroughs' works. And it has everything listed in the order of composition, which is tremendously helpful. And then it has the book publication of that story, the first book publication. So I have this great list in this wonderful book to help me out. There's Edgar Rice Burroughs, Hard at Work on the back. And so this is tremendously helpful. So I know exactly where I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start with um, his first published work, which was a Princess of Mars, which was published in magazine form as Under the Moons of Mars, and then was slightly altered and published as a book, A Princess of Mars. And so this is the first book I'm going to read. Now, his second work was not Tarzan, as many people think. It was actually this book. This is the second book he wrote, The Outlaw of Torn, of which I have many copies of for some reason. So this is going to be the second book I read. And the third book I read is going to be Tarzan of the Apes. Tarzan of the Apes, his greatest creation. I remember when I first started getting into Edgar Rice Burroughs, I read the Martian books first, but I was hesitant 
to try Tarzan. And the reason was is because when I was a kid, the old timey Tarzan movies were always on television and I couldn't stand the Tarzan movies. I thought this big dumb naked guy running around in the jungle, why should I be interested in this guy? You know, I like the apes, but this big dumb naked guy running, who, who cares? So I, I didn't appreciate those films very much when I was a kid. And so it just led me not to want to read the books, foolishly assuming that they would be the same. But of course, I loved the Mars books, so I gave Tarzan a try, and wow, completely different from those movies. Tarzan is so much cooler, so much cooler in the books. He's, first of all, he's really smart, and savage, I mean, these books were way violent. I, I have to say that. And I appreciated that as a young man. And probably will as an old man as well. And so the books are great. And I was so, so happy once I started reading this, reading them. And I became, uh, yeah, I, I became an Edgar Rice Burroughs devotee for sure. I, I, I love this stuff. And I... Like I said, for decades, I wanted to go back and reread every Edgar Rice Burroughs book. But there's always so much else to read, you know, and there's an investment in time. And so I kind of tried to do it one book here and then I'd read some other stuff and then another book, but that doesn't work. I get thrown too far off track. So I've got to concentrate and do it one, and I'm just going to do it one book after the other after the other, because I know if I do that, because I know how my dopey brain works. You know, I know if I do that, then I'll be able to finish it. You know, if I put everything else aside and just read them one after the other, I'll be able to get, I'll be able to do it that way. And because of my age, I know that this is the last time I'll do this. Once as a younger man and now as an older man, and that's it. Most of these books that I'll be reading in this deep dive, I will never read again. Uh, one thing about getting older and becoming middle-aged is you realize you have fewer years ahead of you than you have behind you. You've only got so much time. And so I know walking in to reading these that this will be my last visit to a, a, a lot of these books. which is an interesting thing to think about. And I'm planning on doing other deep dives of other authors that I admire in the future, but I'm only gonna concentrate on one at a time. And so this is for Burroughs for early 2023 and actually next month with the biographies and the books about his works. And that'll be my Edgar Rice Burroughs deep dive. I'm really looking forward to it. Edgar Rice Burroughs, an underrated author because he wrote Pulp Fiction, and he did have his limitations as an author, that's true, but tremendously fun, his work. And it'll be interesting to read it all as an old fella and see what I think of it. So yeah, Edgar Rice Burroughs Deep Dive, that's what it's all about, and I will catch you next time.